Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Libra friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing our tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right. Now, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. When we get to, well, we have your past, present, and future. When we get to the future pile, remember that the future is not set in stone and you have a choice in the matter of where you go. That's what's great about being given free will. When we get to the fourth pile, this is a pile full of energy that can range from past to future. All right, and then I will tell you what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's get going. Past energy, the chariot. So you're dealing with a cancer. Travel, conquest, and progress. You're progressing, heading somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> King of hazards. You're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Distant, hardworking, and a businessman. Someone who's good with their money, but not so good with their words or heart. Two of swords. Indecision, difficult decisions, and different views. Ultimately, if I had a choice in this matter, if, if I'm stuck in this energy, I would probably bring in a third option, which would be like a katana, because, I mean, zombie apocalypse, you're over there with a shotgun and a machine, <laughs> and a chainsaw, zombies, zombies hear a noise, or that's, that's the myth anyway, but anyway, you've got a decision to make. Or you have had a decision and you made it. Ace of Hazards, possibilities, financial rewards, and new, new, new beginnings. This is my favorite card. Okay, this is the Ace of Hazards. This card's my favorite because it's a high five from the undead, saying, "Hey, you're not alone. Come on, we got this. Let's keep going." Three of Cups, celebrations, partnership, or good times. So your two became a three, you had a baby, or you are pregnant, or that's not for everyone, that's for some. Maybe your significant other is having a baby. Maybe you just got married. Maybe you gave birth to an amazing idea that is going to ripple and change the future. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, current energy is the lovers. De you're dealing with a Gemini energy. Romance, sex, and blinded by passion. Is there anything, if the passion sizzles out, is there anything groundbreaking about this relationship? Do you have shared interests, shared goals? If you don't know, you best find out. Five of Swords, defeat, bickering, and severing ties. You're sick of the bullshit. Currently, you're sick of the bullshit. You're about ready just to kick things to the curb. You're so damn tired. But, here's the thing, is that you're not going to back down and you both are going to fight over something absolutely stupid, like who's doing the dishes this week? Who's who's cleaning their room? Who? Why isn't anybody helping with, with other household chores? Why aren't you helping with the rent? Blah, 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 blah. The, the list goes on and on, right? This is your story, not mine. Or it's our story. Or maybe. It depends on who it resonates with, right? Because we're both Libras. I don't know. I'm just putting the puzzle together. It's up to you whether it fits or not, right? If it resonates or not. Ten of Wands. Burdens, responsibilities, and struggle. You are struggling. You have not enough energy to put up with this shit. You don't. You're tired. <laughs> you must have wasted it in the last 15 years doing a bunch of shit that you shouldn't have been doing, like constantly moving and helping people and being a people pleaser. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I did it too. <laughs> You're worn out. Falling apart. Eight of Cups. Moving on from troubled relationships and changing. You're tired of the bullshit. You're saying, no. Fuck you later, alligator. I'm out. Could be also that you are moving from from the Five of Swords to this in in the mindset, you know? Because Swords is air in, in your head, and Cups is in your heart. Maybe you don't think the fight's worth fighting over anymore. Maybe you just you want everybody to be happy. 
I don't know, but it leads to ten of hazards. Hazards in my deck, of course, is coins or pentacles. Health, family, and contentment. You are happy. Everything's falling into place. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Graves. This is Graves Bagheera. Since she wants to be on camera. <laughs> All right, future energy, my beautiful Libras, is the Six of Cups. I hate this card with passion. I'm pretty sure some of you do too, because you're getting sick of hearing about the ex coming back. Nostalgia, memories, and old flames. So yeah, could be someone from the past coming back in the future. It's like, it's like there's a row, like there's, there's gazillions of us, right, Libras, and we're all told every day that a past lover's coming back, and if you notice in the comments on, on the, in the comment section on the other tarot readers, that a lot of people are like, oh yeah, he or she did show up, and I said no, or we got back together, or blah, 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 right? I'm thinking it's kind of like a first come, first serve, everybody's in line, and it's like one wave done, next wave up, it's like a test. Yeah. That's how I'm feeling whenever I hear Libra readings. And I focus on our readings a lot. Because I like to hear what's going on with my fellow Libras. And I like to know what's going on with me. Page of Swords. Inquisitive, headstrong, and observant. Us. G Gemini or Aquarius. We're paying attention. They don't think we're paying attention, but when they come back, we're, 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 all our senses are fucking focused on them. And we know where the exit is, if it comes to that. King of Swords, stubborn, authoritative, or judgmental. Dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could be us, could be not us. It all depends on your story, right? We're getting half the story, and we're making it, we're calling it quits, calling it judgment. It's like this. We're all empresses or emperors in our own right, right? Like the male energy of us is emperor or we try to work our way towards that level of emperor. And the female we try to work towards empress, right? Well, we can work our way up, but sometimes we can step down from our, our throne as like emperor or empress and step back into one of, the, one of these other um, signs. Okay, that doesn't mean we're not, it's just that sometimes we can role play, put on the costumes, depending on um, the scenario. Two of Wands, choices, crossroads, and decisions. You're going to pick that past lover or stay with the person you're with, if you are with them. Emperor, you're dealing with an Aries, leader, control, and order out of chaos. And also, you could have reached emperor mode with your male energy yeah final card for the future is the star card dealing with an Aquarius <sighs> recognition inspiration and achievements yeah hell yeah right heck yeah all right let's talk about this utter, other, this utter, utter energy. Oh, this cat. She really loves me when I'm playing with cards. Six of swords. So here's the thing. is Swords is like an air. That's why we are, in the tarot deck, we are the swords. Because we're an air sign. We're cardinal, right? Travel, leaving the past, and transitioning. We are stuck in our head, but we are cleaning out. We're doing a spring cleaning, Right? I clean, I clean every month or more. Getting rid of that toxic energy so that we can resume our journey as the fool when we get there again. You know what I mean? Where he's got no baggage. Look at all them people. Those people, those zombies, those are issues that keep you up at night and wake you up in the middle of the night. And you are headed towards the moon over there to calmer waters. You're just like, no, I'm good. I don't I don't want no more bullshit. Please, just back your shit down. I'm out. I'm bouncing. 
Knight of Wands, dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Bold, impetuous, and an adventure. Someone who um, is there at the right place at the right time. Willing to go above and beyond. A lot of people call that the player card. It could be. I consider um, another card to be the player card because of how the story goes. But if I get that, I'll sh share it with you if it comes in this or next time. Anyway, let's continue on. Eight of Hazards. Invention, ingenuity, a new approach. So, so I take this as this, okay? And my goals. I have to come... Like, I, I just bought the renewal course for security guard training, right? For doing the 16 hours. But I've got to get 32 hours. And and the lady told me something on on, on the um, Department of Licensing. Yeah, the, the lady I emailed. She said something, and her email didn't make any sense. So I had to come at it in a new approach so that I can get my business license. See, here's the thing is, is I don't want to be... I don't want to be bossed around anymore. I want to be my own boss. I decided I'm sick of security companies out this way. I want to start my own business. Do something different. Because a lot of the companies out here, I mean, they're great in one way or the other, but they all fall short in one way or another. And I don't like that. I, I want to do something different. Right? Make my security company more about the people not more about the corporations if that makes sense but you your idea is you you have to come at it in a new approach so you got to think about which way you're coming and how you're going to do it and, and as a as a fellow cardinal sign you know you're thinking about the cause and effect for every action there's a com um a common let's see what is it for every action there is a positive or negative reaction so that's why we're all always up in our head. Gotta think about the scenarios. Well, if I go up and I high five him in the face, what's he gonna do? A, he's gonna get really mad. B, he's gonna cry. C, he's gonna run off and ignore you for the rest of the day. Or D, he's gonna he's gonna high five you back in the face. Do you know what I mean? Don't do that though. Don't high five people in the face. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but I'm not, I'm not all about violence, so. The judgment card, karma, acceptance, and, res and you're basically accepting responsibility for a situation. You're saying, no, I'm pressing the button, fuck you later, alligator, I don't want nothing to do with the past, I want to move on to a brighter, better future with someone better and nicer to me, someone who will get me, who will cherish me. Seven of Cups, Choices, Consideration, and Daydreams. We are definitely up in our head. We've got options, yes. But if you don't make a choice, a choice will be made for you. And if a choice is made for you, Libra, you might not like the way it's going. So make a choice that best fit you. And you know, you know you're going to be up in your head about this, right? Thinking about each option and which way to go and how to go about it. It's not a bad thing, okay? You're very cautious. You like to play your cards right. And then be spontaneous later. The Wheel of Fortune. Luck, fate, and destiny. You're not letting anything hold you back. Everything is falling into place. Hell yes. Queen of Swords. You've had to step down from your Empress. To, to be an intelligent, sharp-tongued, and unscrupulous. That or you're dealing with um, another Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Okay, You're not putting up with nobody's shit no more. You're cutting it off. Nine of Swords, you're very paranoid, anxiety. You've got full of anxiety and hopelessness. You don't feel like there's a way out. I'm surprised I don't see an Eight of Swords here, actually. You're scared. You don't know if everything's going to fall into place. But know that it, you're going to be fine. Okay? It doesn't feel like it. Of course not. Life's a roller coaster, and you just gotta do with what you have. Seven of Swords. You're dealing with theft, sabotage, and deception. Someone's undermining you somewhere along the past, present, and future. Which is kind of funny, and not in a sense of ha ha ha, but more in a, oh my dear lord, 
because of this card here. This is the card that I think would go great with the, and I feel like it goes really great with between the Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the um, Six of, I don't remember, it's the Past Lover one, right? Here's the thing is that this person's being generous, doing favors, giving you rewards, but there's strings attached, and you don't like strings attached? No, you don't. No, you don't. I know you don't because I don't like strings attached. Okay. Sun card. Success, enlightenment, and hope. There is success. Okay. You've got to think with your heart, not so much with your head, but if you are thinking with your head, add a little heart to the decision making process and discussion. Because this, this card right here is empathy, diplomatic, and generous. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces card, so you're dealing with them as well. Magician, Deception, Opportunist, and Puppet Master. So in a regular deck, if he was upright, and he, he'd be pointing like to the sky with one hand, and then pointing to the ground with the other where there's like flowers, that's to help create something out of nothing, something beautiful. And then if it was upside down, it would probably mean what this means, but in my deck, this is just what it means. So it means deception, opportunist, and puppet master. So someone's pulling your strings and you don't like being a puppet. Unless you're watching the puppet master in the movie back in the day. Not the movie, the series. No, maybe. Movie 1, 2, 3, 4, and 8. I gotta go back. I'm gonna make my kid watch it now. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you for that idea. My kid's gonna be scared of dolls. Not, no, he's not. He he knows it's fake. Okay, so I didn't see any devil energy anywhere. I don't think. Thank God, because we're sick of the devil energy. But we're also dealing with Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone who's creative, kind, artistic, and a soft stalker. Now, a lot of people tell me that this card does not mean soft stalker. It doesn't mean that at all. But in his in his story, in my book, in my zombie tarot, it talks about him hiding in a bush watching you with love in his heart. So it's like a family member or it could be the ex watching. You know, that's just how it goes. But we're not stopping for anybody. Nope. Four of hazards, selfish, hoarding, and possessiveness. That's how you're feeling, or that's how someone else is feeling about you, wanting to possess you. But, or maybe you're not wanting to give up anything, especially your little family. Anything you have that you've worked for, you worked for, you shouldn't have to give it up. This is you. This is your shit. Don't give up your goals for no one. You're meant to do something way better than what you think. Okay, it doesn't feel like it right now. Kind of, it's probably because of Mercury retrograde. I don't remember how long that lasts, but it's been messing with everybody. Strength. This is a Leo card. Resolve, conviction, and inner determination. You're not giving up. See, you're not giving up. You're pulling from within, and you know that the pros outweigh the cons, and you know that you are gonna have a bright, great future. You just got to keep fighting for it. Because you deserve the best, Libra. Yes, you do. Hermit card, solitude, respite, and self-reliance. And you're dealing with a Virgo. Which is iconic because I just did Virgo's reading. Which has nothing to do with this. But anyway, um, there you are on the couch. You're going into hermit mode. You're trying to go quiet in your mind, in your body, in your soul. Just for a little while. Try to pamper yourself, rejuvenate yourself, so you can come back at that goal and knock it on its ass. You're, you're doing awesome. And while the world is going to hell, you're right here with your significant other. Yeah. This, this is just, it's just beautiful. Lessons learned, end of a journey, and completion. You're knocking it out. But here's the thing. You're dealing with a Three of Swords. That's the bottom of the deck. Could be that you have another lover. Could be that you're 
the person you're with has another lover. Could be that your stalker has another lover and or is using you as like a siphon in between you and you and who they're with. Because they're soft stalking you. So, I mean, it's like, it's like porn or, um, you know, you don't have to have anything inappropriate to, for someone to stalk you, but they're focusing on you more than they are focusing on their relationship. That, or if you are in a relationship, it could be that you have someone or they have someone or could be that someone on their side of the family is trying to tear you two apart or someone on your side of the family is trying to tear you apart or because there's so many possibilities here right could be um a drug alcohol um some form of substance abuse porn games workaholic money someone's putting something above your relationship and it's you're a little off balance but know that it's okay. I mean, it's not okay that they do that. But it's okay that you know that you're going to be okay. And things are going to gonna get better. And you're a little alone. You don't feel like anybody's listening. But that's the thing is that someone is always listening. You're never alone when you got a stalker. <laughs> I'm like making light of the situation because I'm right there fucking with you. I hate... I, I hate being stopped. And that's right there. What resonates with me as much as it resonates with you. If it does. Okay. Um, but you've got so much going for you. So don't give up. And um, if you want to leave a comment. Please do. But if you want to leave a comment. And it's kind of private. And you'd rather um, reach out to me. Then go to my about section. Type in, um, oh, no, don't type in. Go to my about section, look up my name, go to Facebook Messenger, type in my name, and find me on Facebook Messenger, all right? I just got a picture of me, my son, and my heartogram tattoo. <laughs> I'm wearing clothes, like a brown shirt. I gotta update my photo. Anyway, and, um, you can vent to me, because we're family, all right? I have a non judgmental ear. I'll be able to help you bring a perspective, different perspective, and and I'll just be there for you. Cause that's what we need sometimes is someone outside of family, who is also family, if that makes sense, to help us with our situation because it just it's a little chaotic in the world right now. Now I love you. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And enjoy me again for next time's tarot or tomorrow's daily horoscope, okay? Alright. I love you. Bye, my beautiful Libras.